Hey guys, welcome. We have uh, Redbird, John Bell <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. So introduce yourself, John. Like how old you are? Or how ah, I just turned up? 50. Oh, wow. Yeah. Last uh, December, I just turned 50. Yeah. Okay. So how long have you been arm wrestling before? I uh, started in 2006. Then I arm wrestled till about 2017, I think was one of my last matches and sort of just uh, stopped since then. Hmm. Yeah. So you were like arm wrestling for almost 10 years? Yeah, a little more. I think about 11 and a bit, I suppose, something like that. Yeah. So you started arm wrestling only when you were 35? Four, yeah, because my birthday's late in the year. 34 years old, yeah. 34 years old. So you, before that, you you were not an arm wrestler, or you didn't arm wrestling? Uh, no, not not formally, like because people who are as old as me would have arm wrestled in high school all the way going up, uh, but nothing like in a formal setting. So it was arm wrestling without really knowing anything. So yeah, I did not arm wrestle till I was 34, like formally with the club, Ottawa. Yeah. Mm. Um, so there's still hope for you old guys in there to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, he was pretty good. Guys. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> That's right. He matches on armor. He got some impressive wins. Uh, 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 so like, what got you into arm wrestling? Like, how did you start arm wrestling? Well, like I said, um, even in public school, as a child, we were arm wrestling. All the way through high school as well, it was just kind of something that guys did. Uh, and then in 2006, actually no, I think in 1990 and 91, uh, I did have a couple of organized tournaments, and then I didn't see anything again until about 2006, when Eric Crusen was putting his tournaments on, and uh, I joined up for one of those. Met Eric's father. And Eric and they encouraged me to come here to Devon's to train and uh, the rest the rest is history. How did he get the nickname Redbird? Devon's crazy. <laughs> he gave me the name and I told him it was garbage. I hated it. And it friggin' stuck because he's a tool. So, <laughs> so that's, no that's pretty much the answer. There's no reasoning behind There's it. There's not a good reason behind it, no. It's, not, it's a stupid reason. And it's dumb, and I, I think he knew that I hated it, and he kept calling me that, and it stuck, so. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm not wrong. You're not. Right. So what keeps you going? <laughs> like, you can... <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, nothing. I mean, I shouldn't say nothing, because I, I don't really arm wrestle anymore. I like to train this with guys and uh, coach. I like to try and coach some of the, my, my buddies in Spenceville at their team. Uh, it's fun, the camaraderie, the friendship. Uh, having fun stuff to do on a Monday night or whatever whatever your chosen practice night is, it's, it's uh, enjoyable. And I've really always liked the coaching aspect of it. I like the thought process. I like breaking it down, I like finding mistakes. I like improving techniques. Like uh, just all of that, the whole interworkings of the sport, I really, really like. So uh, that's probably the main, all those things would be the main reasons why, why I'm still still doing it at this age and um, that's why so you like coaching other people do you want i love it you, yeah. you like making others stronger mm -hmm. yeah that's part of armor yeah as a community yeah. always did even from uh, when i first started coming here uh, it was i ended up sort of having my own table at the end of the line like that was at his front at the front table and mine was kind of down and uh there got to be a point where i never left the table and i would sort of be coaching all the time. I really liked that, and I fell into that role well, and I enjoyed it. And people seemed to like to come to my table and ask me questions. I think because I, I think they could tell that I enjoyed that part of it as well. So um, that's the way it was for several years, actually. Quite a few. Yeah. So how was your training like back then? I mean, you were serious into it. Ah, uh, right. So it evolved right over the years, and. What I ended up with, what I found it was best for me was I tried to limit my gym sessions because early on I tried to do uh, table practice twice a week. I tried to train my arms twice a week and uh, the deadlift and I tried to do bench, a lot of things because I really enjoyed the gym before coming into arm wrestling. I found that was way too much. And what it, it made its way to table time probably once a week mostly and I'm going to say about three or maybe four workouts in a gym a week, limited to like 35 minute sessions. So they're relatively quick. Uh, they were efficient. I was in and out. 
and I felt like I could recover best from something like that. So uh, mostly, most of my strength would have come from the table. I tried to turn my gym sessions into more or less recovery, and uh, I wanted to look good too for the girls, so I tried to get myself in good, strong shape. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I was guilty of that as well then, uh, but ideally it would have been table time and recovery. Like I think basically everyone's sort of doing the same kind of thing now. Yeah. I never really did do the uh, standard pulley system training. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't do the, I did some cupping, some cupping exercise, but not really do riser, rotator. Uh, that almost. It was around, but it almost came in more after I ended up leaving. I think Devin really was the one who popularized doing like so much of that. Uh, I didn't really include it uh, very much in my training at the time. So how many times a week? Twice a week table session? Usually once a week once table a week. session. I didn't really feel like I could hold up my arms. I didn't feel like I could recover as well. So it turned into once a week and then three times in a in a gym to three to four times in a gym for recovery. What's what was your favorite exercise for arm wrestling? Uh, probably I just love doing curls, like regular straight bar curls or uh, seated wrist curls. Mm. Or I should Greg Boys uh, told me about one. So you're standing up and doing wrist curls behind your back. That was probably. What I found to be very efficient as well. It just developed very good cupping strength. Okay, so now we're going to do like a rapid fire round. Uh oh. It's just questions. Here we go. Okay. What's your favorite color? Black. What's your favorite movie? It used to be Harley Davidson and a Marlboro Man. Usual Suspects. I'm gonna I'm gonna name a few. Usual Suspects. The Shawshank Redemption. Mm, Saving Private Ryan and Forrest Gump. Nice. You have a celebrity crush. Nah, man, not anymore. No way. <laughs> huh. It used to be Jennifer Aniston, maybe, but nah. I'm, I'm 50. What the fuck? I don't have yeah, crushes it's, anymore. It's no. hypothetical. Well, yeah, hypothetically, not really anymore. No. Yeah. It was yours. Mine. Oh, I think it was uh, Catherine Zeta Jones. Oh yeah, it's not bad. And a little old for you, but yeah. Who else? And Cameron Diaz. That's not bad. <laughs> nice choices. Strong. Uh, what was uh, Arden? Arden was Uma Thurman. Is oh. that what he said? I made him say it because kind of. <laughs> he said nothing, and then uh -huh. I said, "What? What's your favorite movie?" And he said, "All Quentin Tarantino movies." And I brought up Uma Thurman. Kill Quentin. Bill. He would have gotten that. Uh, now I remember what, how old he was when he was watching Kill Bill. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and amend one of my answers. Rocky. All the Rocky movies were right. also top tier, strong, uh, among the favorites. Yeah. Um, what's your? Who's your favorite arm wrestler? Male arm wrestler. Um, they have to be active. No, your favorite. Be strong. I've always loved to watch Earl Wilson and Sylvain Perron. It is so full of like fire and, and like craziness and they're at such high levels. I just really, really enjoyed watching how intense that those guys were. Who do you think would win if they had a match in their prime? Earl Wilson and Sylvain Perron? Oh man, because I've seen them go craziness before. Uh, Jeez, I don't know. Uh, that's a really good question. You'd have to ask someone with more knowledge than me. Eric Roussan would probably know. Earl would probably know. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, you, you know what? I'm going to find that out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer. But you love both of them. I'm going to find some videos of them on Armsport videos. And put I think I refereed. I, I paused over refereed and, or, or I was close enough to hold the camera when they had an event in Toronto. Uh, and I think Sylvain might have won, but they were not both in their primes at that point. I, I wouldn't say. Okay. Who's your favorite female female arm wrestler? Jody Lair. Oh, <laughs> By a country so mile. Oh, Avery. By a country yes. mile. Aw, love you, Johnny. <laughs> Who's your favorite arm wrestler, female? Gabby. Who's your favorite female arm wrestler? Gabby. Who's your favorite female arm wrestler? Gabby. 
Okay. He's fine. He's sticking to Fair his enough. Hey, the, he I made the biggest food. crush on Gavin. Oh, that's your celebrity crush then? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hmm. There you go. Now it's out. <laughs> she should be one of your next competitors. I've cut it out. <laughs> you're, just kind of, you're what? You're kind of nervous now. I've cut it out. <laughs> no, you won't. You don't get the cut. Uh, no, I'm trying to get her against Adam Wilson. I have a, I've spoke, spoke to her. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's hard to tell who you're going to cheer for then. So yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Sarah Wilson's also one of my favorite arm wrestlers. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. Um, right now, who do you think is top five in the world? Right now? Um, super heavyweight? Yeah, LeVon. So probably Ermings? I'm going to have to walk it out in the morning anyway. I'm going to have to walk it out in the morning. I'm going to be Uh, Zauer, I don't know if, he, if he's... The, uh, because there are some injuries, right? So you think Zara can beat Devin? Uh, I don't know. I'm not necessarily naming it in order outside the top two. Okay. Morozov, uh, Devin probably, but he's not technically a super heavyweight. Yeah. I mean, he's still, well, he will be after he goes Gennady. It's such, it, there's such, that's a lot of talent. Gennady has to be top five. I think Chafee, it's hard to say. Like, mm. you should have asked me that question. There's too many guys. Yeah, so your list is? Dennis. Levon, Hermes? Dan, Dan, right, Levon for sure. Hermes, I would say, most likely for sure, uh, be one and two. I think that's everyone's standard uh, answer. And then you're looking at guys like uh, Dennis, Morozov, uh, Zauer, Gennady, Devin, if you put him in a super. And these aren't in order. Uh, like, there's so many guys who could just snipe at the, at the right time given the right time yeah absolutely chafee like i should probably list jerry there too yeah he beat canardi right and i his style may do well against someone like ermes i don't know for sure because he typically gives top rollers a lot of uh, problems it's been a, if someone could nail down the top five perfectly i'd be surprised Okay, that's it for the rapid fire, Alan. Oh wow, that was a long answer. I'm sorry that it was such a long answer for <laughs> rapid fire. But. No, I just made that up this morning. So I don't oh, know okay. Oh um, yeah, that's it, guys. You, you want you want to say anything else? Nah, man, nothing. To be strong, arm wrestling viewers. No. Nope. Okay. See you guys. Thank you very much Take for care. having me. Thank you. How do you like your tea? Love it.